Hello, hello. Um, as you know, this is the Beat Patties 2 channel, and um, today on a very special episode of of Meat Patties, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build a top of the line computer on the cheap. Okay. So, um, this is a pretty good video if uh, if your computer's getting old and you wanna you wanna you wanna have a, a gaming setup or something. Um, so, so yeah, you're gonna need a few. Oh my God, my get out of the way. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna need a few parts so let me get started on the list one of the first things you're gonna need is 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 a fan because a fan is gonna cool everything down on the computer next you're gonna need a hard drive this is um top of the line pretty new pretty new hard drive it's um let me see here this is uh 15 gigabytes but for this for this advanced setup we're actually going to be having a a dual hard drive raid setup in raid 0 cuz we want some speed this is um this is a 5 gigabyte hard drive you're going to want to buy yourself um a DVD drive we just get a nice shot of this Okay, so you can see you're gonna want the two button model. This little volume switch is optional, costs a lot of money. You're gonna want a power supply, and for for this computer, we're gonna be using a PSP power supply. It's got uh, this end, and it's got the plug. You can see this is mo this is overkill for the kind of computer we're building more fans this is to cool the processor in this case we're going to be using an 8 core processor so this, this should be enough to cool it a general purpose USB cord oh yeah I almost forgot you're going to want some speakers to play your new music and whatnot on so we got I don't know you can see, yeah, we got um a new Xbox uh, Live headset. It's uh, stereo sound. It's actually it's actually surround sound. So it should be good. You're gonna need you're gonna need some some, cha some tape. Hold a lot of things together. No screws. And you're gonna need a, a keyboard and monitor. So, um, I'm just using a, uh, TI-84 calculator. It's got a nice, ooh, 20-inch, um, screen maybe here. It's got a full QWERTY keyboard. So, yeah. Oh, oh, I, I the most important part. You can need stuff to wire all this, too. So... We're getting a motherboard, MOBO, right here. It's beaut. Okay, well, first things first. We're going to have to cool down that that 8-core processor. Um, your motherboard usually comes with a processor. Um, it's right under here. So we're going to just take this thing. Actually, I don't know. There's these little clamps. And you gotta just press it in real nice like that. And then you're gonna you're gonna want to um take the wire. Okay, I uh, I want to just zoom in on this right right down here. Uh, okay, so you should have one that says eight right here. You're just gonna want to take it and. Make sure it's touching the connection, and you can see it's wired right into 8, so that should power our 
fan and processor. Okay, next, we're gonna, gonna hook up the power supply. So, so as usual, you're gonna see where it says batteries, but this is, is a high quality computer. So we're, we're just gonna, um, hold on, let me get my stuff. Okay. Get a nice chunk of tape. Alright, and you're gonna wanna route this. So it's touching this one, the negative. And just route it. Cable management. And you can see that, right? Yeah, it's gotta be touching the negative. And then just tape that in place. Okay. Then obviously the the other end you plug into the wall. But we're not gonna do that now. 